Today we're going to look at Magic the Gathering cards that are going to make you pay with your life. I'm going to start off with Ethereal Champion, the, the Avatar Champion, apparently. Okay, we got a white, white, white. Two generic Avatar, it's a 3-4 creature, and you pay one life. Prevent the next one damage to Ethereal champ Champion this turn. This is like the reverse of protecting you. We're like blocking the damage of our cre- we're, we're like blocking our creature to make sure that it's alive. You know, the general leads the army. So any card that basically makes you pay life, uh, it's all good. And actually, I might even count cards that make you lose life as part of the, uh, the part of the ability. All right, Abzo with the Lisa Shroud of Dusk, which is a black, white, white, two generic, five, five angel. Rather than pay two. For each previous time you've cast this spell from your command zone this game, you could pay two life that many times. Flying a lifelink, whenever a player casts a spell, they lose two life. Oh my goodness! This thing's gonna make you pay life. It's also gonna make your opponents pay life. That is an insane... This is idol... This is literally Eidolon of the Great Revel for the Orzhov. This is the commander Eidolon of the Great Revel. Throw this in a burn deck. Throw this in the black burn deck. We can make black burn work. We just have to splash white for Lisa. That's how it's going to work around here. I suppose it's a weird way to prevent combat geometry. That, that is true. That could happen. Okay, next up we've got Yogmoth's Bargain. This is not a bargain. This is broken. It should be called Yogmoth's Broken with a capital B. The black black four generic enchantment that is absolutely banned everywhere you want proof look banned in legacy legal in vintage they don't even restrict it there oh, let's make some yogmoth bargain decks banned in commander banned in oathbreaker we don't want it Turns out in Commander, you know, drawing 39 cards, it's not bad. It's actually worse in Commander. You start off with 40 life, just ramp out your uh, Yawgmoth's bargain. I'll pay 20 life, why not? It's like I got it's like I got money, I got life to spread around all over here. I'm gonna make it rain in life. Make it rain my blood, I guess, in some way. Okay, we got our first super chat. We got Steve Cooper. Thank you very much for your super chat. The obligatory necropotence. Ooh. I was about to say you almost got sniped there. Um, but it was Yogmoth's bargain. Okay, we got the sister. Around the brother. I guess this is the brother of the uh, the Yogmoth's bargain. Where is the Mr. Shades man? There we go. The cool skull guy. Black, black, black. Enchantment. Skip your draw step if you would discard a card from your hand. Remove it from the game instead. And you also pay one life. But you don't put it directly in your hand. See, a little bit of a process with Necropotence. First you pay the life. Then you set it aside. Then it goes into your hand. So it only comes right back to your hand at end of turn. And by the way, if you <laughs> draw too many cards, uh, you still have to discard the hand size. Yeah, sorry about that. That's not good. But drawing a million cards is fine. This card weirdly... Okay, this card does the flipperoni flopperoni here. This time, it's... This one's restricted in Vintage. Ban in Legacy, but completely legal in Commander and Oathbreaker. That makes absolutely no damn sense to me. Someone explain that, Commander players. Or is this card somehow fair? I don't think it's fair. I think it's outrageous. Okay, we got Ranier with Greed. Some economists would say greed is good. It's a black three generic enchantment. Black pay two life draw card. This is Necropotence stupid cousin. The stupid cousin of Necropotence. You know, it's that dumb co cousin that's like been eating coins their entire life. And what do you expect? You're going to throw it up at one point. Imagine catching that in a short or something. Man pukes gold coins. It would go, it absolutely go viral. And then at the end, he starts eating them again. <laughs> uh, are we just paying life? Uh, sounds easy enough. Paying life, or you somehow lose life for an ability. I will take. I'll take stuff like this. Sign in blood. Assuming you're targeting yourself. Just to, if it makes it easier. If it makes it easier, easier on you guys. 
Okay, we got a black, black sorcery. Target player draws two cards and you lose two life. You could target your opponent, but if you're gonna target yourself, you want a little bit of that card draw. You gotta taste that card draw. You're gonna have to pay up, pay up in blood. Jay's back. Uh, as back every single night. Thank you very much for your super chat. The Defiler of Dreams. Which is a blue, blue, three generic, four, three Frexian Sphinx. Is the head just floating out of nowhere? I need to, cl I need a close up here. Oh, we can't see it very well. No, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Oh, it's like some headpiece is just floating there. The headpiece floats, but actually the head is actually attached to the body. I stand corrected. Okay, uh, we got a blue, blue, three generic, four, three Sphex Phyrexian Sphinx. It's a flyer. As an additional cost to cast, uh, blue permanent spells, you may pay two life. Oh, God. I may? Is there going to be a benefit out of this? Uh, those spells cost blue less to cast if you paid life this way. Oh, everything has Frexian mana in blue. Excellent. This effect reduces only the amount of blue mana you pay. That's so good with me. Okay, whenever you cast a blue spell, we draw a card. This thing's great. I love this card. I didn't even know this card existed. This is my favorite card that I did not know exist. It's blue. It makes me play my blue spells for free. And I get, I get paid for paying with my own life around here. The Kataxians are strange. Very strange hat. We need our hat master here to uh, give us the give us their opinion on this this headpiece over here. Raphael, the Aether Flux Reservoir. You will pay life, but in exchange, you will shoot your fa your your opponents in the face like it's a shotgun blast to the face. So we got a four mana artifact. Whenever you cast a spell, you uh, gain one life uh, for each spell you've cast this turn. You can also pay 50 life to for either flex damage to deal 50 damage to target creature or player. Get out of get out of the way of this cannonball shot. When I get to when I charge this thing for 50 life, uh, someone is dead. It's not each creature and each player. It's somebody though. So you better get on my side. Pirate says you only get to change one blue mana symbol into Frexian, but you what? Only one. This initial cost to cast blue spells, you may pay two life. Those co those spells cost blue less to cast. Oh, it's only one. Oh well, I stand correct. You know what? Still, I still like it. I'm not gonna hate on it. I just learned about it a few seconds ago. We got Darkest Angel with Pestilence. Everyone loves Pestilence. Like, was this like? Did everyone have a Pestilence deck when they first started playing Magic? Oh, you're talking about Pestilence? You know, I thought you were talking about the Pestilence Demon. That's fine. Pestilence. Black, black, two generic enchantment. At end of turn, if there are no creatures in play. If it's done its job, you sack the Pestilence. Also, pay a black. Deals one damage to each creature and each player. Do I count this? You didn't lose life. You took damage. It wasn't loss of life. You didn't pay life. You do have to lose life in order to cast this. All right, this is a loose. It's a loose one, but I'll keep it. There we go. This is another one. Wow, are all the busted cards making you pay life? You know what I've just learned in the first seven minutes of this show? Probably paying life is not high enough. Like, we need to pay way more life for the things that we get. Whether it be Frexian mana, Ad Nauseam, Necropotence, everything. Like, yeah, life as a resource is, like, way too cheap. It's, it's broken. We have too much life in this game. Or maybe we have to l reduce our life total down to 10. Then the burn players will uh, be really excited. All right. Ad nauseum. Black, black, three generic instant. Reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to its converted mana cost. You may repeat this process any number of times. And if uh, you play the deck, if you see it in the decks I see it in, they always have zero drops. Zero drops galore. Or one drop. They're not paying a lot of life. Unless they run into another damn ad nauseum, which doesn't happen often enough. So it's just all, it's all gravy for the ad nauseum players. See, Dark Confidant, I've seen them die millions of times. But ad nauseum players, never. Bacon Catbug, the wall of blood. 
I once used Mind Slaver on my younger brother while he had that out and made him pay all his life. Oh my goodness! Mind Slaver, the player with Wall of Blood. We got a Black 2 Generic 0 2. Walls can't attack. But this one can attack itself. Pay one life while blood gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So Mind Slaver is where you get to control the other player's turn. And so basically, uh, Bacon Catbug essentially said, All right, I'll pay one life. I'll pay one life. And I'll pay the rest of your life. And uh, you're dead. Death by Wall of Blood. Kankusha. Thank you very much for your super chat. One for Toads. One for Toilet Duck. Oh, wow. Kankusha out here. Okay. Uh, first one for Toads. Plunge into darkness. And one for Toilet Duck. The hell is Toilet Duck's thing? Necrologia. Okay, we look into both of them. Is this like a combo or something? Okay, we got Plunge into Darkness. This guy is doing the reverse Goatsy. It's inverted Goatsy, but he's got the exact same like hand position, everything, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, just ignore it. Do not look that up. Don't do it! Only people who already know need to know. Okay, it's a black one generic instant. Uh, choose one. Sacrifice any number of creatures, then you gain three life for each sacrifice creature. Or you pay X life. Then look at the top X cards of your library. Put one of those cards in your hand and remove the rest from the game. You also can pay a black to entwine the damn thing. <laughs> wow, that, I was not going to mention that, bro. <laughs> this is, look at this. This is not on purpose. Yeah, do not look. Do not look. The problem is the more we say do not look, the more they're going to look. Look, it's it's not safe for work. Don't do it. Do, do it in private on a very on incognito mode. Don't let anyone know that you looked up Goatsy. It's not it's not family friendly. All right, that definitely works. Then we got Necrologia. What's the OG? I want to see the 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 ancient scripture. We got a black black three generic instant play necrologia only during your discard phase is that even possible i don't believe this baloney nothing can be played at the discard phase cast this spell only during your end step yeah that makes a lot more sense i wonder if you literally had to like discard this card in order to play it at the time as an additional cost to cast this spell pay x life draw x cards all right we got uh necropotence the I don't know, something pretending to be necropotence. This is like fixed necropotence. Man, R&D at that time were like, you should pay one life to draw one card. I swear it's fair. Even though necropotence was broken back then. So why did they even print Yogmoth's Bargain? That is like such a blunder. It's funny, they, they printed necropotence. A few years later, they print Yogmoth's Bargain. They print this stupid crap in between. Unbelievable. We've got Christopher B with Dega Volver. Okay, we got a white one generic. It's a 1-1. One, one. It is a Volver. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's Silver Surfer being attacked by an insect. We got a kicker of a black colorless or a red. If you paid the black kicker, Dega Volver comes into play with two plus one plus one canters on it and has paid three life in order. To regenerate it but if you paid the red kicker cost you would like the red pill or the black pill then you get the uh comes into play with a plus one plus one counter on it and as first strike oh poor shoot from the right we did that we sh you thank you very much for your super chat but you got uh you got sniped we already did necropotence i don't know if you came in late but we already we definitely did necropotence so anyway we will uh donate your Card to Kencon loves the Volver cycle. That's a cycle. I don't know why I don't remember that. I came out. I started playing around a. Uh, what's it called? Oh no, this is a pop. This is Apocalypse. I thought that was Invasion. Forget it. Forget everything I said. Um, Chalupa Cabra. We're gonna donate the super chat to Chalupa Cabra for Marilyn of the Morn song. I can't remember, this thing does something funky. It's a funky card. It's a black, black, one generic, two, three, elf wizard. The dark elf that has horns for some reason. Someone lied. <laughs> Someone in the family lied about who they're doing. Okay, uh, 
players can't draw cards, and at the beginning of each player's draw step, the player loses three life. And but they get to search their library for a card and put it directly into their hand, then shuffle their library. Very uh, chaotic card. This card. It's like. It turns magic into a game where, well, we're just drawing the best damn thing we could possibly draw every single turn. And uh, that is... Do I have a good chaotic sound effect? Where's my... Let's try this. Can we use... Ah, I'm just going to use this thing. Very suspicious game you're going to have. Basically, legal cheating. You get, you get to search through your library for whatever you want and put it directly into your hand. Okay, next up we've got uh, Alpha Prime. Uh, so Alphamus Prime with black market connections. You got connections to that market? Is that the original card? No, this is like more original. Huh? What is going on here? Okay, maybe I don't know what this card is. It's a black two generic enchantment. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, choose one or more. You can create a treasure token and you can lose one life. Now we pay life for the treasure tokens. You can also draw a card and you lose two life. So <laughs> it really is a current, your life is a currency in the black market. Or you could create a three two color shapeshifter creature token with changeling and you lose three life. Maybe some other merchant will uh, give you that 3-2 shapeshifter for less than 3 life. 2 life. I got it for 1 life. I cannot vouch for the quality of the, the shapeshifter. Nor the treasures. Millmaster! Thank you very much for your super chat. Can we get a little Phyrexian processor? Phyrexian processor. You, you're going to pay all the life. You can just splurge it all, all at once. We got a four mana artifact, and as it enters the battlefield, you pay as much life as you, all you can eat, baby. As much life as you want. Pay four, tap, put an XX black minion creature token onto the battlefield where X is the life paid as Frexen Processor entered the battlefield. That is an oldie card. World Championship Power! Look, it's got the gold border and everything. Saw John Finkel win with that card once. Like the Tinker decks back then, the Artifact decks, I should say, they're just like, okay, pay, pay 15 life, I don't care. And I get, well, actually, I don't know what the optimal number was, because then the next Phyrexian processor person could be like, okay, I'll pay, oh no, they can't pay too much life. They may not even be able to make a token, then they would just die on the spot. Yeezus says, I pay 39 life. You like to live dangerously, Yeezus, at one life. It sounds like something like Austin Powers would be like, I'll pay 40 life. I also like to live dangerously. Beanpaw is like, I miss Tinker. I miss Tinker too. That's why I play the Vintage Cube, so I could relive those good old days. Even though I never lived the good old days in the first place. Okay, we got Mr. Bus Driver with the Final Fortune. Final Fortune. Makes you pay un ultimately with your life. We got a... <laughs> yeah, but it's as a cap. Yeah, I know, if you if you don't, uh, actually it doesn't matter what you do. If you play this card, you're gonna lose the game. You win the game on this spot or you lose the game. No Master says, LOL, only Nikachu would read my mind uh, as to why I chose the card. Winkle Finkle. Good old Finkle. I wish he would make a comeback, but he's like sort of in retirement now. He's too much of a head fund man. Who too much of a hedge fund manager for Magic the Gathering? Magic getting too dorky now for big hedge fund manager. Arcanus, this card is broken with the end of turn cards used the next turn. Absolutely. Uh, re a treasonous ogre. Ogre, cro ogre, ogre. We have a red three generic two three ogre shaman with dethrone. Whenever this creature attacks with the player with the most life or tied for the most life, put a counter, a plus one plus one counter on, so it could get bigger. Attacks the player with the most life. So we we are advantaged for attacking. It somehow like balances the game. It encourages you to attack whoever has the most life no matter what. Okay, and then you can pay three life to add a red man to your mana pool. Now that looks accurate, but it still could be broken. It's very, very possible still broken. So how much life can you... Let's bring out the calculator. You got 40 life. Divide by three. How many mana swords? We can get 13 mana out of this sucker. 13 mana till we're dead. But you, if you gain infinite life, then you'll have infinite mana. Interesting card. 
It actually looks fair. Probably cards should pay like some stupid amount of life in order to uh, get that free mana. Okay, next up we got, uh, sorry, we'll get, these are both from you, okay. So I'll just do your bigger one. Shoot from the right with, uh, anyone mentioned Defiler Cycle, Faith, Dreams, Flesh, Vigor, and Instinct. Well, I'm choosing one of them. I'll give you two of them because you donated five bucks. Faith, Defiler, is that what it's going to be called? Okay, Faith Defiler, and then we could go Dreams Defiler. Okay, uh, we got Faith Defiler of Faith. It's a white, white, three generic, five, five Frexian human with vigilance as an additional cost to cast. White permanent spells you may pay two life. Those spells cost white less to cast if you paid life this way. Uh, this effect reduces only the amount of white mana you pay. Uh, ask your doctor if Defiler of Faith is right for you. Whenever you cast a white permanent spell, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. This card's busted. I think this card's pretty good. Things are cheap. Whenever you an additional cost to cast white permanent spells. But you can all this is like the same with the blue one. But you also get one one soldiers. It's like young pyromancer. I don't know, it's some sort of weird death and I don't know, it's young pyromancer pyromancer in white. Young pyromancer in white. Okay, next one. The Dreams Defiler. Oh, we did that one. Damn it, what was the other one? Okay, we need another one. And another one. The Flesh Defiler. Or I should I should know understand by now. This is the Defiler of Flesh. It's a black, black, two generic, four, four with menace. And an additional cost to cast a black spell. Black permanent spells you can pay two life. Those spells cost black less to cast if you paid life this way. Blah, blah, blah. And whenever you cast a black permanent spell, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains menace until end of turn. Tommy wants Bobby. To Oops, I looked up Bob. Dark Confidant. Okay, that one I know. Yeah, the fleshes have been reached. Even though this is not one of those shows. Okay, we got two. I want to see the original Bob. I really don't like. I really hate this picture. It is nothing. That is not the Dark Confidant I know. It's not, he's not even a confidant to anybody. There is nobody there. Anyway, I like this card. The color is everything better. We got a black one generic 2-1 human wizard. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library and put that card in your hand. You lose life equal to its mana cost. Greatness at any cost. Even if it will cost you your entire life. Yeah, how far Bob has fallen. Yeah, this card's crap now. No one would play this. Is it even EDH playable? It must be EDH playable because it's like $11. It would be, if it was based on popularity in Modern and Legacy, $0 worth nothing. Sees no play anymore. Uh, next up, we got Shoot from the right with the gri a Grizzly Lizzy. Grizzle brand. Big Papa. You got life. They know how to spend it. All right, we have a black, 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 four generic. Cast cost doesn't matter. No one casts this card. It's a 7-7 seven, seven demon with flying lifelink. Also, pay seven life, draw big time. Do I have a sound effect that even encapsulates what the hell this card is? I just want to use the sound effect. It will probably win the game. Usually when Grizzlebrand hits the battlefield, the game's over. Okay, Erland uh, with Mage's Contest for a red counter spell. Ah, two old men with the good old staring contest. They're probably also crying about like the good old days. Back in my day, we did this. Well, back in my day, we did that and it was better. Red, red, one generic instant. You and target spells controller bid life. You start the bidding with a high of what bid of one. Uh, in turn order, each player may top the high bid. The bidding ends when the high bid stands. The highest bidder uh, loses life equal to the high bid. If you were, if you win the bidding, why is it called if you win the bidding? Wasn't it just you win the bid? Counter that spell. Bid life. Try to win counter spells. It's a bidding. It's a life bidding war. They don't even have much life to bid. 
Like, this guy looks like he has, like, three life left. This guy looks like he has two. They're on the cusp of, like, being life broke. Okay, next up we've got... King Con with Mage's Contest. Equals Battle of Glens. Another one. Oh, hold on. Oh, you already did. Okay. We're looking at this card. Okay, let's move on to some super chats. Uh, we're going on to... Tescarellis! Thank you very much for your super chat. Anyone talk about Noxious Revival? We did not. Very underrated card. My, my opinion? Underrated. You know what? I concur with that opinion. Uh, tattoo of a trigger on the stack. Put target awesome card back on top of your deck and draw it, if I do say so myself. It is a Frexian... It's a Frexian mana spell, so you do you can pay life in order to cast it. Put target card from a graveyard on top of its owner's library. Um, also saw some playing combo decks. Like, if you milled, like, one of your combo cards, or you need another combo, or you need one of those combo cards again, you Noxious Revival it back on top of your deck, play some Cantrip, put it back into your hand, and, um, keep the combo train going. No, it's a fantastic underrated card. Especially, and it's just one mana. Put your worst, if they, someone put your best card into the graveyard, well, just put it right back on top. You have chance number two around here. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot that. That is sick tech. It is not put target card from your library. It's put target card from any library. So you can brick your opponents, too. As long, oh, you desperately need a card? Well, Noxious Revival, your stupid fetch land back on top of your deck. <laughs> they'll never see it coming that they'll have nothing coming. Space Pirate from Space. Great way to recover from Thoughtseize. I don't know if that's... Entirely true. You're sp still spending a card to get your card back, but you're literally not doing anything for that thing. Uh, Light says, "Light up." Shout out to Kankusha. What's Kankusha doing over here? What do you got for us, Kankusha? You're just giving a shout out. I don't see any anything from Kankusha here. Now, speaking of fetch, okay, Bean Pot with Minion of Wastes. Is it someone from the toilet? It's the plumber coming to unclog my nasty toilet. Okay, we have a black, 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 three generic star, star, minion, trample. When you play minion waste, pay any amount of life. Minion, minion of a waste has power and toughness each equal to that amount. It's Frexian. It's the damn Frexian card. The Frexian processor just for black. It's mono black Frexian processor, but there's like no, well, I guess you don't make tokens. That's the only difference about this. The tokenless Frexian processor will process this. Okay, Yeesus with the Bond of Agony. For 40 damage means we all lose, do we? <laughs> Black X sorcery is additional cost to pay play bond uh, bond of life, pay X life. Each other player loses X life. Oh my god. It's just, it's like Earthquake, except you pay up against yourself. You need to be at like 41 life for this card. Because if you're at 41, then you can pay the 40 life to kill everybody else. And hope no one kills you while this is on the stack. Still has to resolve first. We die together, Mr. Bond. I pay infinite life. How else can you play with this card? Step one, get infinite life. Step two, have enough life to pay for the Bond of Agony. Interesting card. Very fun. Cool stuff. All right, we're going to look at more cards that are going to make you pay with your life, but we got to thank our sponsor, FusionGamingOnline.com, the first place I go look for my Paper Magic singles, because you better believe I love buying my Murpho cards when they come out. Oh my god, is there a new Murpho card coming out? I'm pre-ordering it. I put it on the wish list. They email me. I go in and snap it up immediately. Don't worry, I leave some copies for everyone else. And you can support the channel by purchasing from FusionGamingOnline.com. They ship internationally using coupon code NIKACHU at checkout to get 5% off all your purchases. We're also going to thank Manitraders, the premier place for renting magic cards online for Magic Online. If you want to play, it is the bandless saver. It, they have a reason for every re they have every reason you want to rent a deck. It's cheaper, it saves you from ban lists, you get to play a lot of decks, you get that competitive edge if you're like that cutthroat of a player that you want to, you just switch to a new deck every damn week. Yeah, you can do that with Mana Traders, and you can support the channel using my Mana Traders link in the description below, or save 10% off your first two months using coupon code Nikachu underscore 1JV. 
Boop, 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 boop. Back to cards that are not so good for our health, really. Except they're all broken somehow. These are all broken cards. We got Chris. Are you guys related? I want to say you guys are, even though Christopher is a first name. Still want to say you guys are related. The Christopher F. We have had Christopher. Like you're. It's the same deal. Full first name, same spelling too. Or is this honestly? Is this like your some second account you have, Christopher B? That would also make sense. Somehow, if anyone's gonna have a second account in chat, I bet it was you. Okay, we got thrown a bone. We pay one for an artifact. Whenever a player plays a black spell, you can pay one. If you do, you gain one life. We're not paying with our life with this thing at all. This is disqualified. Mm. That's exactly what Christopher B would say. He'd say, nope, LOL. Trying to cover his tracks around here. Look at that. Also, at the same time, both said nope at the same... Suspicious. Very sus. Very suspicious. Who's the real Christopher B around here? Alpha Nerd and I are two different... I believe that. One super chats all the time. One super chats more sparingly. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Do you know what? You actually cleared yourself. I don't think Christopher B would make this mistake, actually. Do you know what? I, I think Christopher B is always on point. Here, let's see. Let's let's look at one of Christopher B's cards. It's gonna be like Final Punishment. He always has a lot, a million. I rarely disqualify any of his cards. Rarely. The Final Punishment. It's a black, black, three generic sorcery. Target player loses life equal to their equal to the damage already dealt to him or her this turn. Target player. Why would you pay your own life, though? This is like a card you play against somebody where if you dealt damage, then you basically double that damage. All right. Maybe this is... They, they are the same person. Christopher B and Christopher F. You never know. Oh, is it final payment? Okay, I screwed up. Final payment. It looked like something similar. Okay, maybe you redeemed yourself. Okay. Black, white, instant, as an additional cost to cast this spell, pay five life or sack a creature, enchantment, destroy target creature. Oh, yeah, that checks out. That's the Christopher B I know. Steve Cooper, Bolsa Citadel, and Fetchlands, and one donation to chat. Thank you very much for your super chat, St uh, Steve Cooper. This is another, Bolsa Citadel is just another card that's like, yeah, paying life is just not broken enough. Um, black, 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 three generic. Legendary artifact, you can look at the top card of your library anytime, but you also can play the top card of your library anytime. If you cast the spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. It's ad nauseum the citadel. Then also tap, sacrifice 10 non land permits. Each opponent loses 10 life. So they lo we lose life, they lose life. We're paying with our life around here. You want to fetch land? How about flooded strand? Does anyone have a. That is not the fledged. How did I get the here? I got here by accident. Okay. <laughs> Pay one life. Search your library. Uh, arguably one of the most broken cards in the game. Arguably. Uh, fetch lands do everything. They are. They can find like basically one of five colors of mana in your deck. They look for dual lands. They look for tri lands. They shuffle your library. They manipulate the top card of your library. You can put garbage on your library, shuffle them back into your deck. People cheat with them. That's how strong they are. A lot of cheating with fetch lands. They don't call it the vampiric fetch for nothing. These fetch lands made my wallet cry, and I'll never forgive them for it. Oh, talk about like there was a time like fetch lands were like a hundred bucks each. Oh, that was not a good time, that's for sure. You can cheat, you're like my agent dad. He thinks every white guy with the same first name is related, <laughs> related to each other. They post similar stuff. And the, the thing is, like, it's, the thing is, Christopher, like, who puts one letter of their last name? And Christopher F did the same thing. Nobody else is doing that here. And why is it the Christophers are doing it? It's not like the Jaded is doing that. Oh, do you know what? We got one Jason. We got a Jason M. Maybe we'll have another one. Necro Impotence? That's a joke card. 
but thank you very much for the suggestion. All right, we got um, a super chat to give us, to give away. We'll give it to, who hasn't got one yet? We did Yagmas Bargain. You you shot your load and failed. Okay, Bryce, Varric. When I say shoot your load and fail, <laughs> you shot your shot and failed. Okay, we got a black, white, one generic, two, two vampire. Flying death touch lifelink. Whenever you activate an ability that it that isn't a mana ability, if life was paid to activate it, you may pay that much life again. Again! If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. How badly do we want to activate that ability? Whenever you activate an ability that isn't a mana ability, if life was paid, you can pay that much life again? Usually a lot of these cards, you can just do that anyway. I don't know what's so special about this one, but yeah, it, ch it checks out. Um, okay, next up we've got T. Krellis. Does Villas, Broker of Blood Count? Oh, I was scared that we almost did that one. We'll go check it out. Villas, the Broker. Doesn't cost life to cast, but its activated ability does cost life and pretty decent card draw. Absolutely, that counts. Yeah, the, the 100%. Okay, we have black, 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 five generic for an 8-8 demon with flying. Pay a black, pay two life. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. You could wipe the board at low, low cost of, life, uh, cost of uh, your entire life total. Whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. Oh, God! I forgot about this card. This thing's just sheerly broken. It's just stupidly broken. It's, whenever you lose life for anything, I take damage, I draw cards. I do anything, I draw cards. I step on my own... I Dub my own toe, I draw cards. Any percent of these cards are going to be black? Yeah, it's basically black is the king of paying life for for something. And it's usually something stupidly broken. Uh, Pacers fan forever. How about, we did both of Citadel. Damn, you just showed up at the wrong time. Some 124C with hatred. Didn't we do that one as well? Oh, no, we didn't do this one. This is black, black, three generic. <laughs> Instant pay X life, target creature gets uh, plus X plus zero until end of turn. It'll get bigger. It won't get tougher, but it'll pack a much larger punch. Okay, uh, next up, we've got Bacon Catbug, a channel for the win. You like channel? I've barely seen this card ever get played. I mean, I've been in a lot of cubes. Nobody ever has channel. Green, green sorcery. Until end of turn, any time you could activate a mana ability, you can pay one life. And if you do, you add colorless to your mana pool. And this card, for as broken as it is, um, I've never seen. I barely. I've never seen this card being played before. And it's just banned everywhere. It's restricted and timeless. They have restrictions and timeless. If they have restrictions and timeless, why can't we have restrictions in modern? I feel very offended. I want restrictions in modern. Some people might not agree with me. I don't give a crap. I'm tired of some cards getting banned. Or I'm, ti I'm also tired of cards that are not very dangerous to be on the banned list. You can bring it off with uh, as a copy of one. Christopher is like Nico Robin, who actually is, uh, whose name is actually Robin Nico. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Christopher F. Looking for redemption. Savra, the queen of the Golgari. We have a green, black, two generic, two, two elf shaman. Whenever you sacrifice a black creature, you can pay two life. That absolutely works. If you do, each other player sacks a creature. Whenever you sack a green creature, you may gain two life. Oh, this actually card, it pays off. So you lose life, but then you can gain it back later. That's a great suggestion. We got Kankusha here. Desperate for giving super chats to Abzo and went for Jess. What the hell is Abzo crying for? What does Abzo have? Fast Bond. It sounds like something I put in my shoe. It's something sold to old people. Fast Bond. Uh, oh, what was the other one? And for Jess? Where's Jess around here? Hibernation Sliver. I know what that does. Because I envy the ability. Okay. First, we go to Abzo's Fast Bond. Enchantment. You may 
For one green, you may play any number of lands on your, on each of your turns. And guess what? Whenever you play a land, if it wasn't the first land you played this turn, it deals one damage to you. It's a fa it's effectively like you're paying with life. A fact, I get it. Now hibernation sliver. This is a wicked ability. I admire this ability. It's a black blue 2-2 two, two sliver. All slivers have pay two life return this permanent to its owner's hand. I would die for something like that. I would absolutely die for something like that for Merfolk. It's not a very Merfolky card at all. Dave is using some new um, guilt trip meta. You never read my car my night cards. All right, we got Yog Moth. Threat. Maybe I don't like this card. Do you have any? I am at zero for Yog Moth. Why can't I Yog Moth? Let's just look up Yog Moth. I am 0 for 4 versus this jerk in uh, modern challenge events. I absolutely hate this damn thing. Why? Because it's a black, black, 2 generic, 2 4. Protection from humans. But you pay one life and you sack another creature to put a minus 1, minus 1 counter up to one target creature and draw a card. So basically, the one life isn't even much and it, nu it just nuclear wipes my entire board away. And my opponent just has like, you know, an extra two two hands available to them. Absolutely disgusting. Alright, next up we've got Jesus with Skrelv's Hive. It's super it's super worth it. That's what they say. Skrelv's Hive probably has its own Facebook group. It's a white one generic enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life, and you create a one-one colorless Frexian might artifact creature token with toxic one. And this creature can't block. Corrupted. As long as an opponent has three or more poison counters, creatures you control with Toxic have lifelink. Is this officially better than Bitter Blossom? I don't know if it is. It doesn't have evasion. It's got poison. That's sort of annoying. It's got that going for it. Uh, okay. Who? I don't know if I got the dialer. Oh, Vendetta. They used to have really common... You know, before Fatal Push, I mean, like, even way before, I don't know, years before Fatal Push, this was, like, the way to kill something for one mana. Instant. Destroy target non-black creature. It can't be regenerating. You lose life equal to that creature's toughness. Do I have... Yeah, you don't want to lose your life equal to their toughness, but, like, you did... You had to do what you gotta do. All right? You do what you gotta do, and sometimes you gotta vendetta something. better than the creature having a vendetta uh, after you. Okay, next up we've got Pacers Fan Forever. How about two really good cards? Mutagen Growth and Getaxium Probe. Mutagenic Growth. Mutagenic. And Getaxian Probe. Two insanely... Actually, one's more broken than the other, that's for sure. Okay, Gadaxian Probe. Pay two life. Or a green. You have that option. You can pay one or the other. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, it's an instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. It's a good counter lightning bolt. I'll give it that. Great combat messer upper. You thought you were beating me in combat. No, I'm beating you. And, to, and then and then you thought, oh, you're going to beat me with the Munigenic Growth? Well, I knew you had the Munigenic Growth. That's why I have my own Munigenic Growth, to be your Munigenic Growth. Let the Munigenic Growth... Well, you, you let the Munigenic Growth War start. I've been in wars, and I've won some, I lost some. Then we have Getaxian Probe for two mana. Sorry, for sorry, for two life. You look at target player's hand, draw a card. Who would have thought that this was going to be one of the most broken cards in all of existence? Banned in Popper, Banned in Modern, Banned in Legacy, Restricted in Vintage. Eh, it's okay. You got like one copy in Commander. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with one copy. Totally perfectly reasonable. What's with the different live hours? Because I'm going on a big vacation soon. And I need to do shows in the evening to make up for all the shows I'm going to miss on... That I'm going to miss in the morning. The hell is this? Death Wish. Is that a card? The Millmaster knows marketing. It's a black, black, one generic sorcery. Choose target, uh, choose a card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand. You lose half your life rounded up. Remove Death Witch from the game. Good God! Is it really a Death Wish? I've, <laughs> I thought the genie is not supposed to hurt me. 
Okay, next super chat we got. Spectral Maniac! The Lord of the Forsaken. Lord of the Forsaken is a black, black, four generic, six, six demon, flying trample. Pay a black, sack another creature, target player mills three cards. Pay one life, add a colorless. Spin this man, only cast a spell from your graveyard. Sack another creature. We, we're we sacking creatures to mill our damn opponent. That is so very underwhelming. I would never play that ability. Just to mill three. I mean, I guess if they stack something at the top of their deck or something, I guess that could make some sense. Uh, outside of that, paying one life to get a colus, that's not too bad. Hold on, give me like 15 seconds. I need to make a water run. I drank all my water already. probably made it back even before 15 seconds the chair is beautiful okay was that a super chat or that was nothing that was I don't remember so we'll move on to the super chats we got bacon cat bug with new my outcast paying it forward for somebody oh is that for KenCon? new my outcast Everyone's super chatting each other today. All right, we got a four mana one one human samurai with Bushido two. Blocks or becomes black gets plus two plus two. Black pay five life. This is what the hell? Regenerate? This is terrible. I gotta pay a black mana and five life to regenerate my one one die. You can just die. In fact, I didn't even want you for four mana. This is terrible. This is un- What an abomination of all the cards that we're paying life for. <laughs> and there's the thumbnail. It could be. This is just me, like, looking at this card. Like, oh god, this is just- This is a complete abomination that I'm staring at right now. This might, I wouldn't say this is the worst card of all time, but this is ranking pretty damn, like, high up there. This is a very high cost to save my damn 1-1. One, one. Okay, then. Sam Hansen with Purgatory. It is a black-white, two generic enchantment. Whenever a summon card is put into... Whenever a summon card... What the hell is put into your graveyard from play? What does that mean? Creature? I think that translates to creature back then. Put that card face up under purgatory so it gets exiled. During your upkeep, you may pay four and two and two life to put any card under purgatory into play as though it were just played. If pur purgatory leaves play, remove all cards from under it. Remove all cards under it from the game. Okay, what the hell does this card do? Um, whenever a non-token creature is put into a graveyard from play, exile it. Okay, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you can pay one. You can pay four and two life. If you do return a card exiled with purgatory to the battlefield. Oh, and it doesn't matter where this thing goes. This is a reserveless card, and it's a buck. It's only one dollar. Buy up your purgatories, people. So you're gonna end up in purgatory. Uh Okay, back to super chats. Millmaster! Uh with uh how well can lurking evil divide by two? You should have been here for the math show in the morning. Okay, Lurking Evil. Black, black, black. Enchantment. Pay half your life, round it up! Lurking Evil becomes a 4-4 four, four horror creature with flying. Good God! This is another, this is like, uh, another stinker. You're half your life for a 4-4 four, four creature. You know what? Okay, now to some defense of this card at the time, there was something called Black Sly. And very often you are paying a lot of life and your life total would go down to almost nothing. So paying half your life might have meant going from like 12 to 6. And this 4-4 creature was like a pretty big beefy creature for 3 mana back in the day. It wasn't really that bla wasn't really that bad. Uh, but in Commander this would look god awful. Did not age well at all. Aged like moldy, sour, chunky cheese. That's gone from orange to blue to green to white to black 
to white again to green. You don't want to you don't want to eat that cheese once it's turned green like four times. Man, uh, do we get hold on? We get a freebie. I think this last one was just a super chat. Uh, yeah, then you die to lightning. That's exactly what happens. You die to lightning bolt. Okay, let's Abzo City of Brass. Why not? City of Brass. Ooh, they cleaned up the art. This is a reprint. They really cleaned up the art. This looks better than the old City of Brasses. Uh, when it becomes damn it, when it becomes tapped, it deals one damage to you. Also, your opponent can tap it, and you're still taking that one damage. Add one man of any color to your mana pool. Okay, next up, we got Mam Faxo. Thank you very much, Mam Faxo. Pretty sure my divorce papers was a card that costed me a good chunk of life. <laughs> good chunk of life. Uh, it, it would. I love these streaming hours that let me be here during daylight hours. Well, I can't promise. I can promise that they'll show up randomly in the future, but I cannot promise that we'll be on any regular schedule. It just so happens I'm going on a big vacation, so I need to do in the evening. All right, with that super chat, we will donate this to Dario with Gix, the Yogmoth Praetor. Gix himself. Okay, we have a black, black, one generic, three, three Frexian Praetor. Whatever the hell those things are. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may pay one life. If they do, they draw a card. What? Whenever a creature... Oh, it's one of... Okay, it's one of your creatures deal damage to them. Uh, we've got Necropotence online. Okay, we have black, 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 four generic discard X cards. Exile the top X cards of target opponent's library. You can play lands and cast spells from among those cards. Exile uh, this way without paying their mana cost. Se seven mana. To basically, what's X? Oh, we discard X cards. We dis discard X cards and just exchange it for the cards that they have. That's Ultima Power. Uh, next up, we've got T. Sorelius with Junji the Midnight. Junji. Junji the Midnight Sky. I don't know what this is. For the second ability, that's okay. We're going to read it all. With a sack outlet and Kenrith, it could be very synergistic, but not infinite. Synergistic is good enough. We got Dragon. Ooh, it's a beautiful picture. It's a five mana, five, five flying menace dragon spirit. And when Junji dies, choose one. Each opponent discards two cards and loses two life. Or put target non-dragon creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, and you lose two life. Wait, you can't even find your own dragons? Target non-dragon creature card. What kind of dragon is this? It's a beautiful Kamigawa dragon. Oh yes, they got the best dragons in Kamigawa. Deep in the future! This is what AI helped create, or reverse engineer or something. We did Black Market Connections. Michael Ng, enjoy your big vacation. Thank you very much. Do you have a card, Michael? Actually, I don't know if I got one from you. Uh, I know I don't get one from Mordrak. We got Mental... Oh, Mental Mista. <laughs> You got one mana spell? Not anymore! Pay two life, counter target spell with converted mana cost one. Millmaster, speaking of Sly, how did Sly beat Warship? Game of Chaos! Thank you very much for your super chat. Is that how they did it back then? I don't, when did Warship come out? I thought that was like seventh edition or something? Or maybe it was early, or maybe, when was Warship? Maybe it, was a re maybe it was reprinted. Ninth edition. This is old. Oh, where is the saga? Okay, it's an old card. Yeah, they had to deal with that. Game of Chaos. We got red, red, red. Oh, we got flip a coin. I got coin sound effect, I swear. Okay, flip a coin. Target opponent calls heads or tails while, co while coin is in the air. The loser of the flip loses one life. The winner of the flip gains one life and may choose to repeat the process. Double the stakes each time. Double or nothing. Do you wish to double? I can flip the coin again. I can do this all day. So basically, but you have to be ahead. If you're not ahead, you're not really losing life. You can lose life. It's a 50-50 chance. Uh, okay, who hasn't got... 
or is it, I don't think I saw Avatar. I don't think Avatar got one. Toxic Deluge. That is a big one. That is big sweeper. This is like, I mean, Commander, you can just pay 20. Black 2 generic sorcery is an additional cost of the cast of this spell. You pay X life. Whoops. You pay X life. All creatures get minus X, minus X until in a turn. Nothing survives the Toxic Deluge. I'm telling you that right now. Nothing survives Toxic Deluge. Not indestructible creatures, not hexproof creatures. Shroud, you can have all those crappy keywords. Nothing beats minus X, minus X. It will claim everybody. Unless the creature is bigger than their life total or whatever. Okay, next up, we've got uh, Alpha Nerd. Have you done channel? We did do channel. That means we're donating your super chat, Alpha Nerd. We're donating your super chat to the wind! Adanto Vanguard. Adanto Vanguard. This was like a standard all star. Two mana for a 1 1. And as long as it's attacking, it gets plus two, plus zero. So it's basically a 3-1 creature. Pay for life. It gains indestructible until end of turn. That is a nasty ability. Because, like, if you're up against a control deck, like, they don't... It's not like you care about your four life against a control deck. You care about this thing not dying to your damn Supreme Verdict or Wrath of God or some crap like that. Uh, Jay Thompson with Nashi. Nashi, which one? This one? No, this one. You dirty rat. Dirty rat ninja. Oh, it's Donat... No, Donatello is a turtle. We have a black, black, one generic, three, two rat ninja with ninjutsu of four life. Whenever Nashi, Moon Sage, Scion deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of each player's library. Until in a turn, you may play one of those cards. If you cast a spell this way, you must pay with your life, equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. Why is this good for four life, but regen uh, five life is bad? This thing is a three one creature. Last one was a one one nothing. This looks like a one one nothing, but it attacks for three. I guess I see the confusion. Also, I didn't have to pay a black mana. This is just pay for life. That last one is pay a black and five life. Uh, not happen around here. Uh, let's go with. Isis has another super chat. I'm getting paid 2,500 CRC, whatever the hell that is. Mere Convert. Is my favorite mana dork, fits all colors, filters for life. Uh, it's always a natural. Also, I wish you a very happy 2024. You as well. Happy New Year, everybody. I know I'm like a week late, but happy New Year anyway. <laughs> the people watching the replay are going to get this at the end of the month. Yeah, happy New Year at the end of January. Happy New Year. This goes to show how like how quick I am here. Okay, Mirror Convert. Two mana for a 2-1 Frexian uh, Mirror. Toxic one. Uh, and also tap pay two life. Add one mana of any color. Oh yeah, so you got like a little bit of infect strategy. A little, got a little bit of mana ramp around. Next up... What is this? This is a Vladimir Putin in. Okay, we got uh, an Rakir, the Traveler. And Rakir, the Traveler, is a black, uh, four generic, four, four Necron, Lord of the Furian Legions. Whenever Enrakir the Traveler attacks, you may cast an artifact spell from your hand or graveyard by paying life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost. What is it? You may cast an artifact spell from your hand or graveyard. Oh, okay. Yes. So we can pay and we can pay our life instead of paying its mana cost. That's a cost I want to pay. Oh god, the super chat. Okay, now it is super chat central. So it's only super chats, but I mean, you can always uh, keep giving card names because you never know when someone screws up or they're not even super chatting to name a card. T. Corellis again with, uh, how about reanimate? Absolutely. Pay life to put a broader card from a graveyard into play. One mana Elish Norn, don't, don't mind if I do. Troxville the Corrosive, what's eight life in a 40 life format? What's 10 life? In a 20 car, 20 life format. 
you know, uh, this actually is a super popular card in Legacy, one of the most dominant decks in the format. We have a Black Sorcery. Put our creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. You lose life equal to its mana value. 100%. Spectral Maniac. Thank you very much. Ashiok the Wicked Manipulator. The Wicked. Ashiok. Oh, no, it's not Ashiok the Wicked. It's Ashiok Wicked. I stopped you from paying with your life, but it goes well with a lot of cards in this show. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, we got a black, black, three generic, five loyalty Ashiok. If you would pay life while well, your library has at least that many cards in it, exile that many cards from your top of your library instead. So, like, we try to pay life? Oh, I see. So, we are paying life, but instead we're milling cards. Uh, plus one. Look at the top two cards of your library. Exile one of them and put the other into your hand. Minus two, create two 1-1 one, one Black Nightmare creature tokens with at the beginning of combat on your turn. If a card was put into exile this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. And also minus seven, target player exiles the top X cards of the library. X is the total mana value of cards you own in exile. If you would pay life. This honestly doesn't even make you pay life in any way. I'm going to disqualify this damn thing. L literally doesn't make you pay life anywhere. I thought it'd be like, okay, you pay two life, but then you like have to mill the cards anyway. The one ring, you have to do it. How is it even worded? I mean, technically you're sort of paying life. Indestructible four man legendary ring -a -bob. Um. Which could have been sent to Mordor by Gandalf. He was holding it in his hand with the, like the, what's it called? The, the stuff, the, the things that stoke the fire or whatever. Or those prongs. Like why couldn't he just carry it with something else? Like chopsticks all the way to Mordor. That's a plot hole. Okay, anyway, enters the battlefield. If you cast it, you gain protection from everything until your next turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life for each burden counter on the one ring. You can also tap, put a burden counter on the one ring, and draw cards equal to the number of burden counters on it. I still do not know if this is CEDH playable. I, should, I guess I just should just look at a bunch of CEDH decks uh, that came out lately. Ashok actually prevents you from paying life. I know. Ashok has no life paying abilities. Okay, next up we've got David Sampson. Under Realm Leech. Under Realm. Sorry for the guilt early. You get my first super chat given to a given to anyone ever. Huh? Sorry for the guilt. You don't have to guilt me. It's all good. You get my first super chat. Oh, you're, I'm getting your first super. You've never given a super chat. Anymore. Oh, thank you very much. Calls for a celebration. And now you know how to super chat. Okay, we have a green, black, three generic, four, three zombie elf shaman. If you would draw a card, instead look at the top three cards of your library, then put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Pay for life. Underrealm Lich gains indestructible end until end of turn. Tap that damn thing. So what is this? If you would draw a card, instead look at the top three cards. This card is sort of broken. Okay, so this is like, it's Brainstorm. It's Brainstorm every single time I draw a card. And how would that work if I'm Brainstorming? I play Brainstorm, draw first card. Okay, instead draw three cards. And what, do I Brainstorm for all three cards? That thing's completely broken. I get to pay for a life and it's indestructible and I tap it. This thing's insane! This is insane! It's only like $6. Like, it's not obscenely that expensive. This is like super powerful and casual, uh, casual commander. Also prevents you from deck- Oh yeah, that's true, you can also do that as well. Pretty, pretty, uh, sick stuff. I feel so sorry for the $2 super- I, We will get through every super chat today, I promise. The show ends when the super chats end. And we're gonna keep it going with Manfaxo. Donation to try extending the show till I'm done with hanging out. Are oh, you doing some laundry? Um, oh shoot! I was supposed to do my own laundry today as well. Just gotta do it tomorrow, that's all. It's okay, there's always another day. There is always... There's always tomorrow. Uh, okay, anyway, this is a donation. Yeah, someone's been mentioning the same card over... Oh, uh, Nate. Let's get Nate's card. Book of Rass. The book. The good book. 
It is the book. There's a lot of books here. Six mana, artifact. Pay two. Pay two life. Draw a card. That is the crappiest card draw we've seen all day. Man, card draw has gone a long way. On the other hand, this is an artifact, so anyone can play it, I guess, in theory. You love the Book of Wrath. Alright, well, go play your Book of Wrath, then. I don't stink. I just don't... I'm, <laughs> I'm running dangerously low on underwear. That's all. I'm d running dangerously low on underwear. The unspeakable symbol? What's the unspeakable symbol? Paying to life? What, the... What symbolism is there in here that I don't know about? That's okay. Okay, finally! Oh, Tikarella is also in charge of the $2 Super Chats as well. How about five Covenant, covenant Trade? Oh, sorry, Fire? This is... Red, black, one generic for a uh, instant as an additional cost to play Fire Covenant, pay X life. Absolutely, that works. You paid life! Fire Covenant deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. Eh, only, it's like, I guess it's the old version of, uh, it's a very bad version, a bad old version of, uh, what is this? Reign of Filth? Was, we just looked at it. Something filth. Is it filth? Drown in filth? No. Acid rain? Something. You pay life. Toxic daily. Wow, was I off. I'm just doing terrible with the names these days. You get old enough, you just don't remember any names. The names just go in one ear and out out the other. I, I know what the cards do, though. I can, I, can tell, I can tell you what the card does and what its mana cost is. All the abilities. Names are meaningless to me. Until I need to play with Meddling Mage. Then I'm screwed. Next up, we got Chen Fred with uh, Arco Flagellant. The hell is this thing? Ooh. Warhammer card. Black 2 generic 3 1 human with squad 2. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may pay 2 any number of times. And when you do it, the creature enters the battlefield as that many tokens that are copies of it. Arco Flagellant can't block. And it's got Endurant. Pay 3 life. Arco Flagellant gains indestructible until end of turn. It's not bad. It's like a Danto Vanguard, except it can multiply into millions of clones of, it, of itself. Oh, is unspe oh, I bet Unspeakable Symbol is some card you guys want us to see. Look, look, everyone's yelling for the Unspeakable Symbol. Well, someone got to screw up. Someone going to screw up eventually with their Super Chats, and we'll look up Unspeakable Symbol. Okay, we got uh, Dystopia. From Black Lance Geo. Thank you very much, Black Lance. Uh, three mana, cumulative upkeep, pay one life. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a white or green permanent. Oh, it's going to suck for the... That must really suck for the uh, players playing white and green. Okay, how long can you last with this thing? So, one turn, then plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus... Nine turns, basically. Nine turns, and you are finally a goner. And But that's a lot of turns. Like, you basically lock the green and the white players out of the damn game. It's just gone. We got another one for the unspeakable symbol. Don't worry. Eventually, someone's going to trip up. We got Chen Fred with clen uh, the cleansing. We got to clean things. Is a white, white, white sorcery. All land is destroyed. Is this just Armageddon? It's a cheaper Armageddon. Players may prevent cleansing from destroying specific lands by paying one life for each land they wish to protect. Effects that prevent or redirect damage may not be used to counter this loss of life. Ah, oh, no, the, everything is everything has come full circle. I now understand completely what this is. Jacob doesn't want to wait. Jacob says, unspeakable symbol. I can see some super chats that were not going to pass the test. Or actually have not have already been done before. Unspeakable symbol from Scourge. This is Scourge, right? Yeah, the Scourge, the set. We got black, black, one generic enchantment. Pay three life 
put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. This is terrible. This is just god awful. The symbols are spread throat a feto marking sites where minions of the Raven Guild and the Cabal can seek refuge. Um, blue, three, three life for a one counter on a creature. This is a banger? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, love, love it when the flute comes out. Uh, Alright, next up we've got uh, Tyler. Thank you very much for your super chat. Uh, we've got Eviscerator. They have Eviscerate and they have an Eviscerator. It's a 5 mana 5-5 five, five protection from white. When Eviscerator comes into play, you lose 5 life. It's not the worst, it's not that particularly good, but it's not the worst thing I've seen all day. Still gets outclassed by all the other big bomb cards, but uh, it's uh, that, yeah, I get it. You can redo it over and over though. What, what, the, that last card? You want to pay 30 life for 10 counters that are on a creature? I mean, I guess if it has double strike, you can kill someone with your commander. That's a hefty life to pay though. That is a lot of life. We got shoot from the right with the force of nature. Force of nature. Some stupid six mana eight eight elemental. Trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Force needle deals eight damage to you unless you pay quadruple green. Does it still say eight damage? Yeah, it still says eight damage. We I understand what you mean though, so I am definitely gonna count it. <laughs> gonna pay with eight. You're gonna pay with eight life. You gotta pay eight unless if you want to deal eight. You pay eight if you want to deal eight. You won't even deal eight because it's just got trampled. They'll just chump block with one damn thing. Pacers fan forever. Oh, do we do Kirik? Come on. Kirik, son of Yogmoth. No, I don't think we did Kirik today. Okay, we got uh, Frexian Black. Frexian Black. Frexian Black for a four. Two, two, Horror Minion. Was he born with those spikes on his body? Looks like the Legion of Doom. Okay, lifelink. For each black in a cost, you may pay two life rather than pay the mana cost. Oh, of anything. So basically everything, everything is Frexian mana. Everything's broken. When this thing's on the when this thing's on the battlefield, everything is broken. Whenever you cast a black spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Kirik, Sun uh, Sun of Yogmoth. It also pumps itself up for every damn creature that you play or every card that you play, no matter what it is. This card's insane. This is not the last stream for three weeks. I have Monday and Tuesday still coming up. Don't worry. And, and videos will still come up, but there won't be a, a stream. The last stream is on Tuesday. Jacob Thune. Boop. City of Ass. It's real. I paid $20 for <laughs> it. You see the whole butt crack and everything. Yeah, my brother would love the city of ass. I wonder if it stinks there. And but dot 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 comes into play tapped. Add one and uh add one and one half mana of any one color your mana pool. It's like actually strictly better than City of Brass. Oh no, no, it's not strictly better. It still comes into play tapped. That could be a problem, honestly. doesn't pay with life well like that's the thing he said like uh, he knew it was disqualified but he paid like a bazillion dollars up to this point so he didn't care okay we got more pay to win super chats uh, we got T Sorelius all fun and games when someone has a Nekuzar what the hell is this Nekuzar I'm, I'm sure I've seen this on the show before this seems to be like some deadly commander card is in play and you have a consecrated sphinx in play danger loss of life or drawing oh yes so we have a red is this like one of the best commanders it's a cheap commander can't tell if it's overrated or accurately rated grixis too generic for a two four zombie wizard at the beginning of each player's draw step that player draws an additional card whenever an opponent draws a card next to our mind razor deals one damage to that player 
Being of each player's upkeep, that player draws an additional card. Whenever an opponent draws a card, this actually doesn't pay with life at all. What the hell are you talking about? Get it out of here! I was duped. I would lie to. Okay, so that means we're gonna donate! We're gonna donate to... Re With Wither Bloom, Withering Boon. Next time someone screws up, I'll give it to you, Diego. Okay, Withering Boon. We have a black one generic. Interrupt. Pay three life. Counter target summon spell. That passes. Didn't realize you guys are so passionate about cards that make you pay life. Okay, we got Jace from uh, Steve Cooper. We've got Jace the Perfected Mind. And a donation for chat. Oh, you want to also have Infernal Contract? Okay, we've got uh, Jace the Perfected Mind. It is a Frexian, a blue, a two generic for a five loyalty Jace. It's got completed, which means you can pay life. Okay, and if it does, uh, it comes into play with less loyalty. Plus one until your next turn. Up to one target creature gets minus three, minus zero. Minus two, target player mills three cards. Then if a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, you draw three cards. Oh, God. Otherwise, you draw a card. And then minus X target player mills three times X cards. Excellent mill card. Infernal Contract. I should have counted this like a $2. You, you basically pay six for like two, three $2 super chats. Okay, Infernal Contract. Black, black, black. Draw four cards. You lose half your life total. Round it up. Oh, God. That doesn't even seem worth it. Like, maybe... I guess it's worth it. Like, but... If you're in a 20, uh, 20 life game, maybe that's a little bit more worth it than I think. And a donation! Who said? Who did I say I was going to give it to? Diego with the Staff of Completion. Because it is completed. The Completion! It's a 3 mana artifact. Tap, pay 1, uh, life. Destroy target permanent. You own! Yes! The best thing to destroy is your own stuff. And uh, also pay life, add one man of any color. Tap, pay three life, proliferate. Tap, pay four life, draw a card. <laughs> pay f uh, just pay five mana, untap staff of completion. All right, next up, we've got Millmaster with a whole five dollars. Can we get the homies, Lich? Lich, Leech. It's the OG one, right? Okay, we got a Lich here. It look, whenever I look at this guy, it's like some guy who just you disturbed in his sleep. And I'm like, I thought you were dead. If I knew you were alive, I would have kept the heavy metal rock music down. I could have swore you were just die you were just dead over there. Okay, black, 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 black enchantment. As Lich enters the battlefield, you lose life equal to your life total. <laughs> My life total? You don't lose this, but but just wait. You don't lose the game for having zero or less life. Now, if you would gain life, you draw that many cards instead. All right, so where's the downside? Whenever you're dealt damage, sacrifice that many non-token permits. If you can't, you lose the game. When Lich is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you lose the game. Oh my god, how do I win this game? So many ways to lose, so few ways to actually stay ahead. Uh, we did do fetch lands. Random fetch lands. Next up, this is gonna be a long show. I can feel it. I didn't know there's so many cards that you can pay life with. Tyler Di Benedetto, Di Benedetto with that Gallo braid. What am I gonna give you for a super chat sound effect? I give you the Gallo braid. It is a black black three generic five five trampler with commutative upkeep. Pay one life. You have to pay one life every turn for a 5-5 five, five creature for 5 mana. So back then, you could go Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual. Actually, you could go, if you go double Dark Ritual into this on turn 1, you probably win. Back then, there's like not... Uh, eh, I guess there were some ways of beating this. You could Swords to Plowshares the thing. Love the art. This reminds me of something. I just don't know what. It is really strange. It's like wearing a wig. Like, that doesn't make any sense. It's a clearly a dead zombie body, but the hair is all perfect. So I guess it was like, it was a real human being, but they wore a fake wig. And hence, the wig doesn't age or deteriorate, but the rest of the body does. 
It should be like it should be like that or something uh, in movies. Like some zombies should have like you know a fresh wig on their head or something. Just arrived late. Bull crap. I'm gonna look back into the past. I swear you've been here the entire time. Maybe not. Okay, maybe you're right. I always feel like you're here, Pedge Man. Um. Okay, next up, we've got cleansing for all you EDH players out there. But we did cleansing already, which means you got. Hold on, where's my sniping sound effect? So we'll give it to Pedgeman, who claims they weren't here the entire time and want force of will. Had a friend that tried to force a will at one life. People forget about that one life. Really? I wish they did that online. That would make a great clip to capture. Blue, blue, three generic instant. You may pay one life. <laughs> at the time, they must have thought it was balanced. Like, hey, one life, that's a lot. Those blue players, they're almost dead at this point. Pay one life and exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Counter target spell. Now, let's say we were designing this card today. How much life would be fair? I don't think three life would even be fair enough. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe three. At least three. I have no idea what the real... Ca it's obviously one is complete nonsense. Wasn't... This was a very unbalanced cycle. Did I miss some of the... I'm going through all the $2 super chats as we speak. We got all these. I didn't miss anything. It's just that when someone pays five bucks, the, the policy is... See, V. Sorialis did it again. Uh, we gotta do, we have a to prioritize the largest super chats, but I will get through every super chat. The show will not end. Feed the swarm. One of the few ways black can remove enchantments. Sorry, my last example. I thought damage for drawing is essentially loss of life. But did they da did they draw for? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that can't hold on. So feed the swarm. The last one I didn't know that you even. Damage for drawing? I, that last card didn't damage you though, right? It was the opponents. Or unless I read it wrong. Like I was reading it only the opponents lost life. Okay, now feed the swarm. Black one generic sorcery. Destroy target creature or enchantment. It's completely unheard of for black. So, however, you lose life equal to that permanent mana value. I don't even know if this is fair in the color play. You know, a lot of people got really pissed at this card. But now they've reprinted it a million times. Ooh, we have a Tales of Middle Earth version. The Middle Earth. Oh, good not good God. We got all these goblins feeding on the one random knight person here. I read it right. Okay, good. I read it right. I read I know what I'm reading here. KenCon! Cleanse it. Oh no, we, we did that one. Jacob Thune! Nerf War. It's nerf or nothing. Red, blue, three generic. Fire a nerf blaster until empty at target library from at least two meters away. For each card knocked off that library, put it into its owner's graveyard, and the nerf war deals half damage to that player. This has nothing to do with the show at all. You didn't even... This doesn't even have anything to do with paying life. Normally, I could even accept that. Okay, we'll donate it to Night Shrimp with the Dread, Dread Horde Invasion. You can't just super chat random cards, Jacob. <laughs> Was the flavor text had something to do with it? Hold on. I'll tell you one thing. It's not nothing. Oh, yeah. There for nothing. All right. Dreadhorde Invasion. Two man enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and you amass zombies. One. Uh, and also whenever a zombie token you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains life link until end of turn, so you can get it back. You thought it hurt you? What, the nerf? The nerf gun? Nerf guns hurt? That's the whole idea. It doesn't hurt anybody. Bacon cat bug. Going back to the basics. Mana vault. Counts. Fight me. I'll accept it. Mana vault, uh, especially if you <laughs> don't untap it. Uh, okay, it doesn't untap during your untap step. You have the option to pay for it, your upkeep. And if you do, you can untap it. But, if at the beginning of your upkeep, 
Uh, sorry, at the beginning of your draw step, if Mount of All is tapped, it deals one damage to you. Oops, no, that's not the... One damage to you, also add triple. It's Dark Ritual for Colas. Dark Ritual. Pacers fan forever. Actually, that was uh, completely... That's a sniped one. I wouldn't say snipe, but we did Grizzle Brand already. So, since that has been done, we will give the super chat to who... I don't know if we got one from Joel yet today. Asmodeus, the Archfiend. A six-mana Devil God on his big chair. It's a 6-6 six, six with Binding Contract. If you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library face down instead. Triple black. Draw seven cards. We have a black, return all cards exiled with Asmodeus, the Archfiend, to their owner's hand, and you lose that much life. But if you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library face down instead. So we get all these cards face down. What does that even mean? So re return all cards exiled with Asmodeus to their owner's hand, and you lose that much life. That seems fine. It's like a really clunky Grizzle brand. It's like somehow they were trying to fix Grizzle brand somehow. How is that thing not called the Lord of the Ninth? I have no idea. I don't play D&D, so I, I can't tell. Okay. Next, we got Mamfaxo with just uh, <laughs> putting the beating on the $2 Super Chats. They have to wait. Donation and extending the stream. I really want to hear you say birds aren't real. Birds are what? I don't know why that birds aren't real. We want to cut that out. You're going to plaster that somewhere. You're going to send it to the bird community. Okay, we got a donation for somebody. Somebody looking for a donation. Martin, I don't think, got a card at all today. We got Lord of the Pit. <laughs> the Pit. And you can stay there. It's a black, 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 four generic, seven, seven demon. Flying and trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature other than Lord of the Pit. If you can't, Lord of the Pit deals seven damage to you. Yeah, be careful. Uh, be careful making any deals with the Dark Lord. It's a very hefty upkeep. That's a very hefty. At the beginning of your upkeep? Oh, that's a really hefty cost. Make sure you have creatures. Pacers fan forever. Okay, what do you got for us today? Snuff out and force a negation. Force a negation doesn't pay life. Snuff out is a great one, though. Snuff out. What do you want to force negate your own snuff out? Snuff out. We have a black three generic instant. If you control a swamp, you may pay for life rather than pay snuff out's mana cost. Destroy target non-black creature and it can't be regenerated. Uh, one of the best remo removal spells in the game. And it only took, I don't know, over the last year, people f found out that this card is actually extra amazing. Uh, this card saw no play in Legacy for Eternity, and now it's seeing tons of play in Legacy. I guess maybe because it's combined with Death Shadow, but still, it's zero mana. Destroy anything that you want. Anything at all. I was here in the morning previous stream, not this one. Also, Belladross, you have to wait. We got your we got your force of will already. We got your force of will. I guess a person can dream. Next up, Darkest Angel. What time is it? 120. Okay, well, I've seen, I've I've had longer streams, that's for sure. Uh Arcanus wants tornado. Arcanus gets, I guess. Thank you much, Darkest Angel. For you, Arcanus! You're not even asking for Tornado anymore. You you knew it was coming, I guess. We have a green for generic enchantment. Commutative upkeep of a green. Pay a green to a generic. Pay three life for each velocity counter on Tornado. Destroy target permanent and put a velocity counter on Tornado. Play, uh, play this ability only once each turn. To be honest, I don't know what this card does. Whoops, no, that's wrong. Pay three life for each velocity counter on Tornado. Destroy target permanent and put a velocity counter on Tornado. Oh, I get it. Okay, so we blow something. Okay, I get it. We blow something up. It gets a counter. And then we're going to pay three life for each counter on it. So as I want to blow up more things, I got to pay. I got to pay up. 
I gotta pay. I gotta pay the. I don't know the tornado tax. That's what I want to use. That's what I want to call it. All right, next up we got Tyler with the uh, reckless assault. Oh, I think we did this one. Oh no, we didn't. A lot of cards sound the same to me. We have a red, black, two generic. This used to be like a bulk rare, and it still is. It's not even bulk rare. It's even less than that. It's bulk pennies. Um, or it's a super... No, it is a bulk rare. It's just not a dollar rare. Okay, we have one mana. Pay two life. Reckless Assault deals one damage to target creature or player. This is another sad card. I'm paying two life to deal one damage. And I have to pay mana on top of that. F that. And you'll stay a bulk rare for the rest of your existence, that's for sure. There was a tier list for demons? Oh yeah, we did do a tier list once for the demons. Jason! Thank you very much for your super chat, Jason. You didn't actually show the Necro Impotence earlier. Yeah, because I know it's garbage. This is not a real card. Also, Heartless Hidetsuko from the math show. Okay, we can do the Heartless Hidetsuko. Okay, I'm just flashing that. Heartless Hide. Heartless Hidetsugu. Okay, we'll read this. It's going to be a long stream anyway. Three mana. Skip your untap step. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay X life. If you do, untap X permanence. Pay half life. Uh, remove the top card of your library from the game face down. Put that card into your hand at end of turn. Completely broken. It's more broken than actual Necropotence. Heartless Hidetsugu. It's a 5 mana 4 3 Ogre Shaman. Tap Heartless Hidetsugu. Deals damage equal to each pla player equal to half that player's life total rounded down. Including your own. Oh, I'm sorry, Station Disaster. You got buried. I bet this was good at the time. I bet it was good at the time. We did uh, mental messed up by now. Okay, so uh, yeah, you got you got super screwed. But we're gonna donate. Don't worry, we're gonna donate it. Well, it it is called reckless assault. It's not wrong. You are not wrong. Joe Skyclave aerialist. Anyone else just coming off of their job, get, getting home? We have a blue one generic, uh, Merfolk Scout, a Frexian thing of some sort, because it's, it's flying, but you can also pay for an Frexian to transform it. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, it's a 2-4 flyer. When this creature transforms into Skyclave Invader, with the top card of your library. And if it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield. And if you don't put the card on your battlefield, you put it into your hand. All right, we get a little. We actually get a little value from flipping this thing. We pay. We play Frexian. We get card. Kankusha. I have not a damn clue where this thing is. I am not looking for it. It didn't come with words. I'm just donating the super chat, Kankusha. Unless you, unless you're here, maybe I'll give it to you if you have like a random thing to say, like right now, if you're still around. I don't see anything coming from Kankusha. Maybe they gave up. They gave up. Like, no, I'm never gonna see this super chat. Okay, who? Oh no, it's just a chat, man. Okay, well, okay, I will give then. Just gonna miss you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna miss all of you. I mean, I'm still gonna have videos coming out regularly, so. We did Toxic Deluge. Okay, let's get Rai Fukai Acorn Harvest for the Squirrel decks. It's a uh, green three generic sorcery. Put two one one green squirrel creature tokens into play and flashback pay a green one generic pay three life. This was like the deep analysis for green at the time. Something like that. Yeah, that's basically how it was back then. The deep analysis for green. Yeah, hello to the coffee crew from the past. We're talking to the future from the past. Actually, we are the... F no, yeah, we are the past. We are the past talking to the future. It's like a time capsule. 
Are you doing releasing a bunch of regular videos while you're on vacation? For every video we've done in the evening for the last three weeks, I'm releasing them for the in each day that I'm on vacation. Millmaster! Uh, with the Ebon Blade Reaper. I think this is my favorite super chat sound effect. It's a black two generic one one cleric. And he's got a real funny outfit. Imagine designing this damn thing. It is so outrageous. And you tell your tailor, and I want the hat to go really pointy over here, all right? I need to assert my dominance with my hat. And my staff has to look like a half moon. Like Sailor Moon. I saw that on Sailor Moon. I want just like that. Okay, we got, uh, when Ebon Blade Reaper attacks, you lose half your life rounded up. Oh, God. <laughs> Whenever Ebon Blade Reaper deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half, uh, his or her life rounded up. Wow, that's a lot of damage. It's like a 1-1 one -one creature that deals a lot. Yeah, very point- yeah, very pointy. Pointy hat, Jacob. What is- what does a pointy hat have to say about the person wearing it? What does it say about them? Are they compensating for something? They want it long and pointy? Well, I don't Pointy is not what they want. Deals common damage to a player, they lose half their life total. Oh, that's- uh, I guess they get complete revenge. You can also morph it! Oh, can you- you can morph it in combat! And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I thought you were going to deal two damage. The Ebon Blade Reaper! With that hat and staff, I'm done for. It's over. Okay, next up, Pacers Fan Forever. The Staff of Completion. Oh, we finally got, uh, did we do, I think we did do Staff of Completion. Yep, we did do this one. So we will donate. There's people watching without a hat on. What a vomit-inducing thought. <laughs> Not paying, but trying to keep the stream running anyways. The Belladross. Belladross Witherbloom. Belladross. I think we did this one. Oh, no, maybe we didn't. No, I guess we didn't. I guess there's a lot of Witherbloom cards. The seven mana four four Elder Dragon with flying. And at the beginning of each upkeep, create a one one black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies you gain a singular life uh pay 10 life untap all lands you control activate only once each turn that is a lot of oh, basically annihilate your own life total all in all in the glory and exchange of lands okay next up we're gonna get Ooh, kangusha has a real super chat over here the, uh, we're gonna miss you, Nikachu. I'm gonna miss you as well, King Kankusha, but I will be back. I promise. I'm not gonna abandon my show, that's for sure. Oh, a classic! Here, we got Jason's Thoughtsies. How do we get through the show without this card? Thoughtsies, one black! Sorcery, target player reveals their hand. You choose an online card from it, that player discards that card. You lose to life. Uh, an all-around great card in every format, even in EDH. Sometimes you're a combo deck, and you know exactly who has the who has the goods for you, so you make sure that they don't have those goods anymore. Uh, next up, we've got Tyler Brenner with Infectious Inquiry. It's great in my Poison deck. You inquire, do you? Okay, we got a black two generic sorcery. You draw two cards and you lose two life. Each opponent gets a poison counter. This is literally, um... Each opponent gets a... Well, yeah, the poison counter is a, the real... the it's, it's divination, though. It's black divination. With infect. How could we make divination better? We'll add poison counters to it. That's exactly what we should do. What a silly idea. But no one plays it, I guess. It's like nine cents. I guess it's not that good. Okay, King Ginger with um, Vendetta. We did Vendetta. So we will donate your super chat to... Bringer of the Black Dawn. Oops. 
Bringer of the Black Dawn, 9 mana for a 5-5 five, five Bringer. You can pay Wooburg instead of paying the ridiculous 9 mana cost. It's got Trample. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you can pay 2. And if you do, search your library for a card. Then shuffle your library and put that card on top. That is broken. It's Vampiric Tutor every single turn for only 2 mana. That is the most broken ability I've seen on any of these creatures. Okay, that's a bit of a lie. I think Grizzle Brand actually beats out almost everything on this list. But still, that's pretty damn good. We did ha uh, hatred, Mike. We did hatred. King Ginger, Black Market Connections. See, that's the that's the key. You got to do two Super Chats, because if you do two, there's a chance one of them has not been taken. We did Black Market, but we didn't do Lord of the Forsaken. At least I don't remember if we're doing that one. Um, This is... Oh no, we did do this one! And we did Black Market Connections! Yeah, this is the Pay One Life Add a Colorless. You sack, yeah, okay, we did this one. Sorry, King Ginger. I don't think you regret. You love donating to chat. You love donating! Okay, so what? Who has not got a card at all? I think everyone got a card at some point. Now we'll give one to Toads. Uh, the Plague of Vermin? Oh, Vermin. It's actually- I thought it was gonna be Vermin, but you didn't spell it right, but... Okay, Black Six Generic Sorcery, starting with you. Each player may pay any amount of life. Repeat this process until no one pays life. Each player puts a 1-1 Black Rat Creature Token into play for each one life that they paid. You pay life, you get rats! I don't really understand the flavor to this card. Are you feeding these rats with your blood? It's complete nonsense. All right, next up we've got T. Sorellis with Aetherflux Res Reservoir, the Death Star, but we did that one. Can't, I can't say for certain you got sniped or anything like that, but it definitely came up first. So we're gonna donate it to, to Boar. Boar's Soul, Soul Gorger Org. It is a 5 mana 6-6 six, six Trampler. Comes into play, you lose all but one life. When Soul Gorger Org leaves play, you gain life equal to the life lost when it came into play. This is weird. Comes into play, you lose all but one life. This is stupid dangerous. This is terrible. Do not play this card. Bolt you, you're dead. Well, I guess that, that go. there goes my plan. And when it leaves play, you gain life equal to the life lost when it came into play. This card is just stone cold garbage. <laughs> okay, you pay, you definitely pay your life. All right, this is the, this is, okay, this is worse than that 1-1 one, one that you have to pay five life and one mana to block with. That card was terrible. That card was terrible, but this thing takes the cake. Benikachu, back then, five mana for a 6-6 six, six was unheard of. You know that, right? Yeah, but also back then they played with Seal of Fire and Shock and Lava Dart and Lightning Bolt. There's like, there's a million ways you can die if you play this card. But I guess you're the red deck, so maybe you're hoping they, they are not the red deck. If you can Harmless Offering? No, it has to be get you have, it already comes into play under your control, right? You lose. You, that is not what you want to do. You want to, it comes into play and you lose all but one of your life and then donate it to someone and you're still at one life. That seems like a, it seems like you screwed yourself over. Okay, we got Amazing Crack Monkey. Zuzu the Punisher. Everyone pays. Everyone pays when there's Zuzu. Uh, am I spelling this right? I am obviously not. Zuzu the Punisher. Come on, Scryfall, you should know. You should know! Okay, Zozu, the Punisher. Red, red, one generic for a 2-2 Goblin Warrior in the snow. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, uh, Zozu, the Punisher, deals two damage to that land's controller. I'm barely going to let this pass, but I'll let it pass. Tor okay, T-I don't even know how to pronounce your name. 
It's like T. Corellius. How about mana barbs? Pay life to use lands. I, you know what? I, I let this thing pass, so I guess I'm gonna have to let that one pass. These these things really should be passing, but we're probably running at the bottom of uh, the barrel of cards that pay life. It's a red three generic. Whenever a player taps land for mana, mana barbs deals one damage to that player. So you need to pay. You want to play for your spells. Play your spells, you have to pay the mana. You pay the mana, you take the damage. You take the damage, you take it. And you'd be happy with it. Okay, we got uh, Station Disaster with Fire Covenant. Oh, we did that one. Sorry about that. So we're gonna donate. We're gonna donate to... Who didn't we not donate to today? I don't think we got anything from Wing of Shoe today. Read the bones. Wow, all these cards, and there's still cards we never chose yet. Black 2, Generic Sorcery, Scry 2, Draw 2. Then you lose 2 life. But hey, you got the 2. There's nothing wrong with drawing 2. Paying 2 for drawing 2, that's Necropotence level. That's Necropotence power level. You don't forget that. And with that, that's it for Coffin MTG. What an amazing show we had. People love their spells that they pay life for. There's a lot of broken ones. Like tons of bro- it's, If there's one thing we learned from this show, they're broken. They're absolutely busted. Wizards didn't balance this pay life, get ability crap at all. And if you want to be part of the show, you got to be here 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Also, um, yeah, I guess that was it. That was the last evening show for a very long time. But don't worry, this is not the end of the evening shows. Because whenever I have to go on a trip or something, I will always use the evening shows to fill in for my morning shows. Thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel. If you're a member on... Uh, what's it called? If you're a member on YouTube, a patron on Patreon, or you super chat to contribute to be part of the show. I really appreciate it. It helps keep the show going on. And for I've been doing this now for like three or four years. That's insane. And most importantly, we gotta thank the coffee crew for being here. Or sorry, I was the hot cocoa crew for the the hot cocoa crew in the evening. We got Erland, Abzo, David, Rai, Avatar, Woe, Jacob, Mamfaxo, Kankusha, Pedgeman, Darkest Angel, Someone to Foresee, Steve Cooper, Spectral Maniac, Bacon Catbug. We got Kankusha, Mordrek, Amazing Crack Monkey. Oh, you were here to the end. Wing of Shoot, Jess, Kencon, The Jaded. Christopher B, Christopher F as well. Probably the same person, but we don't know for sure. Uh, who else? We got Boar, Joe, Sam, Erland, Gillum, 4Cam. We got everybody here because you guys, Toilet Duck, Darkest Angel, Station Disaster, because you guys are the show. So as usual, as usual, my crew, keep brewing up them coffees or hot cocos. And we'll keep brewing up the magic. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you at the next cup.